Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Coming through today to take a look at a uh, a knife that was sent to me several weeks back. It is from Oaksworks, uh, Oaksworks EDX to be exact. And this one is the Osprey. I had had the uh, opportunity to check out the Lantra. And there were a lot of people who raved about this knife, the Lantra. And uh, even though I felt it was executed wonderfully by Riot, allegedly, it just, um, there were a couple of things I didn't really like about it. Um, in particularly was the thumb stud placements. But the Osprey here that we're going to be taking a look at is a totally different knife, totally different experience. Um, I had the opportunity to briefly uh, experience one last year, I think around July, which was really early in my journey. And um, I kind of shit on it, didn't give it much of an opportunity and sent it back to the, uh, the individual. Uh, but man, how things change in less than a year. Uh, what do you say? First off, let's drop the top on this bitch, shall we? Up close in person now. All right. I think I'm going to be changing the uh, the background on this thing. I think it's about time. You know, this was kind of thrown together uh, willy-nilly, so to speak. Don't know why the fuck I say that. I've never used that word before. But um, enough of that. Let's get into it. This is the Osprey. I believe this knife originally dropped in uh, 2021. At the latest, it would have been 2022. Uh, they're sold out. They're discontinued. The only place you're going to find this at is going to be on the secondary market. <clears throat> uh, this was sent to me from the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Craig, a.k.a. Saigon Kick 2018, a.k.a. the Irish Hand Grenade. Yeah, this is uh, stunning. Let's go over the, um, the specs on this. First off, the, the Osprey was actually the very first model uh, that was released underneath the Oaks Works EDX line. Uh, for some of y'all who don't know, the EDX line basically is just like a whole, an ultra high quality um, version of production knives, crossover production knives, so to speak. So um, I think some people actually list this as mid-tech. Don't even really know if I know what mid-tech means, so I'm not going to make that claim or not, but I believe... When I was doing a little bit of my research, Knife Center listed this as a mid-tech. So uh, let's get back to it. Overall length on this is 7.38 inches. Uh, we've got a closed length coming in at 4.17 inches. The blade length is 3.25 inches. And we've got a nice blade stock coming in at 462 thousandths. So nice and slicey. I wonder if they measured that here at the tip. Um, there is a swedge there at the tip. Uh, this is a drop point configuration deployed via your uh, flipper apparatus here on the back. This is what I like to classify as a minimalist flipper tab. And I love them. Even, even though it is minimal, it still shows itself when the knife is deployed. But it, it really doesn't get in your way. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, the blade itself has got a two-tone satin finish. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice for you guys or not, but it, it's beautiful. Um, belt satin finish, gorgeous hollow grind, you know, so it's going to be a, a, a great slicer. Uh, you can also deploy, there's a baby fuller there, and I believe, yeah, you can do it. It takes a little bit of, um, a little bit of work. You got to want to fucking do it, and you got to kind of jam the fat of your finger. I'm noticing that if I go low, right, let's see if I can, yeah, I can do it with the thumb a little bit easier. Um, <clears throat> but there is, uh, the, the, there are a couple different versions with some different inlays that were available when the knife dropped, but it's, it, it is a bolster lock, titanium bolster lock with this seamlessly executed carbon fiber inlay. And I, when I say seamless, I mean, literally it feels like one piece of material. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, we've got T8 hardware all the way around, uh, recessed screws, even your pocket clip has got a T8. Uh, titanium pocket clip that is uh, ambidextrous tip-up carry so they have this uh, 
nice uh, intricate milling here on both sides of the pivot by the bolsters. I'm assuming that's for when your knife is deployed, you want to grip up. It gives you a nice uh, ergonomic feel to that. Uh, also have the nice milling on the titanium backspacer as well. And of course, lanyard hole for the weirdos. Uh, now the, um, the, the knife itself is riding on uh, cage ceramic bearings. And they also have a ceramic detent ball. The weight on this is coming in at 3.10 ounces. So this, the, the, this is like the sweet spot for me. The specs on this knife, under seven and a half, under four ounces, money all day. Uh, <clears throat> let's throw up some other knives for some size comparison to give you guys a better visual idea of what we're working with. Uh, first up is going to be in, uh, probably one of my favorite acquisitions of 2023 for me personally. And that is the Alliance Designs Kraken. The Osprey to me is, is, I guess we would call that a gentleman's knife. And I would venture to say the same with the uh, with the Kraken, even though it's a, got an aggressive blade shape and whatnot. To me, it's just very classy looking. Uh, so you can see here that the Osprey is just a bit shorter than the uh, Christensen Knife Works designed uh, Kraken. Next up, a recent acquisition that has really grown on me, and that is a budget knife uh, for some people. That is the Civivi Cubit. So the Osprey is bigger than the Cubit, a little bit smaller than the Kraken. Yeah, I wasn't too big on the Cubit when I first got it in hand, uh, but after several days, I carried it a couple days. It's great. Really, really impressed with that. You know, under 60 bucks with the uh, Knife Dope discount code on White Mountain. Next up, another recent acquisition, which has got to be, I think this is possibly my favorite but uh, budget purchase of 2023. There have been several, and that is the uh, Echo Knife Center exclusive. Yeah, I kind of fell back in love with some budget knives this year, you know, but as you know, I have the BBBK series, bringing back budget knives. Stay tuned. We're going to have another episode of that soon. Uh, next up, got to bring some American vibes in the building. And what better than the uh, legendary Spyderco Native 5 uh, Fluted Carbon Fiber S90V rendition. I think this might be my favorite in the collection. Uh, there's probably like a two-way tie uh, between that one and the Sanmai version. So the Osprey is bigger than the Native 5 and just a job. Uh, actually, I think it might be even money with the Echo. Yeah, I think it's even money with the Echo. All right, let's do two. Mo, God damn it, two Mo. Next up, another recent acquisition and another possible finalist for uh, favorite knives purchased by me in 2023. That is the Wee Hyphen. Wee makes a good knife, people. They damn sure do. They're fit and finish. Um, I'm impressed with for sure. So the Hyphen is just a tad smaller than the Osprey. Last but certainly not least, Another American classic, you know how we do on this channel, and that is the PM2 by Spyderco, uh, Tonto rendition. There you see that. So we, by this point, you all are probably familiar with the fact that the PM2 is a big knife, and you can see there it does tower over the Osprey. So you have that. What do you people think? Quick shout out, if anybody uh, has an Osprey in the collection, that they're trying to let go of, holla at me. For the right price, I'll take it off your hands. I am currently attempting to um, pry this from Mr. Craig's hands, but I don't believe I'll be successful in that. I do think he uh, considers this uh, one of his untouchables, and I can understand why. It's a beautiful knife. Oh, how could I forget? There's also that nice little finger choiled up there allowing you to choke up and get that full purchase, no refund. Full purchase, no refund. That's right. Very important. Do not want no goddamn refund on my full purchase. What do you fuckers think? Are you digging the Osprey? Do you have it in your collection? Let me know in the comments, goddamn it. I want to hear all about it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!